would take place just before the second half arrives, but there's been a slight uh, hitch in the proceedings. Uh, Santa, Santa has been delayed, I'm afraid. But uh, we do hear it on very good authority that he is on his way and that he will be here immediately uh, the concert finishes. So we hope he'll draw the raffle then. Uh, if you have to leave quickly, um, we'll uh, just... Uh, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you're not likely to win a prize. No, really. Uh, if, uh, no, if, if you do have to leave early, um, leave your tickets and your name with us, and we'll, if you win, we'll be sure to let you have your prize. Uh, this just uh, allows me an opportunity to say that uh, this evening's concert is presented by Maystone Jazz Centre and of course the series is sponsored by NatWest Bank, uh, which uh, we're very pleased uh, to, uh, I'm sure Nigel are very pleased to have that sponsorship and uh, it's, it's very nice to know that um, a, a national institution such as that is prepared to support our kind of music. Uh, just one thing I want to say is that uh, on New Year's Day, in the, on the evening of New Year's Day, we have a magnificent um, evening at uh, the Hazlitt Theatre in the lounge there. We're featuring an all-star band led by Digby Fairweather with people like Brian Lemon, Alan Ganley, Roy Williams, etc. So uh, if, you're not happening, happy, if you haven't got anything to do that night, then come along to the Hazlitt uh, and have another fine evening of live jazz. Anyway, that's enough from me. Back to uh, the second half of the concert. And Please welcome back Bill Ashton.
we wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. And that arrangement was done by Bill Charleston, the soloist there from Hatfield once again, Cliff Tracy. <laughs> trumpet there. Trumpet there you heard from Gerard Presenter. Oh, that's a second one. Indeed. And uh, finally on guitar, brief burst there on guitar from Paul Stevenson. We like to dedicate that to his mum and dad, his girlfriend, and anybody who's ever met him, Paul Stevenson. So much. We uh, continue now by featuring our trombone section. They are generically known as Bone Structure and they are, are one of our bands within a band. All the bands have them, all artists called Bone Structure. It's led by Mark Nightingale, who also did the arrangement. But unselfishly, he didn't give himself or any of the trombone players a solo on this one. Instead, he features the guitar of Paul Stevenson and the very, very nice piano of Jim Osborne. And this one is called In the Bleak Midwinter. And given that the infant Jesus was born in June, it wasn't really very appropriate. There we go. I mean, that's when the census took place. Who's going to bother about that? Aha! We've got to give you a, a plug here. They're playing in the Hazlitt Theatre on the 17th of February. So Peter Doan, with his inimitable uh, opportunism, has seized this marvellous up-and-coming band and has got them to play for him for the Kent Jazz, or Mid-Kent Jazz. What might it go?
in the ring with Winter Guitar there. Paul Stevenson, piano, Jim Osborne, and Bone Structure. Mark Bassey, Dennis Rollins, from Oldham, Patrick Hartley, Tibor Hartman on bass trombone, and the arranger, leading bone structure there from Redditch in Worcestershire, Mark Nightingale. Well, we were hoping not to do too many, well not to do all, just well-known carols. So we thought it'd be nice to do some that were not so known. In fact, I never heard this particular one before in my life, and I'm very pleased indeed to have discovered it. Interestingly, um, when we were going to do this, I spoke to a very good friend of um, Mid-Kent Jazz's uh, called Digby Fairweather. He said, I hope you're going to play this one. And the tune he said was, tomorrow shall be my dancing day. And if you don't know it, you're in for a treat. If you do, this setting is gorgeous. It's done by Rex Cadwallader, who lives and works in Colorado, but is in Britain now for a two-year sabbatical. And to play it, will you welcome, please, from Bournemouth, the little giant, Ian Wood.
Did you know that one? Have you heard it before? Oh, a lot of you did. Obviously, very, very well up in Christmas cards. I didn't know it. It's a lovely song, isn't it? I'm going to go on by playing for you one arrangement by Alec Gould of We Three Kings of Orient Tide. He's brought this one into 5 4, and the rhythm and one or two of the phrases are not unreminiscent of a quite well known tune in 5 4. He's called this one Take Five Kings, and you notice the saxophone section demonstrating their amazing virility by. Yes, you see, you can't control them, so okay. I'm playing for you their percussion instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, take five kings. and we'd like to pay tribute now to the late great Count Basie. This is very much a straight ahead swinger in the Basie idiom, the arrangement by Alan Hare, who's probably the supreme writer of this sort of music in this country. And once again, the trumpet of Gerard Presenter. This is Alan's arrangement of Away in a Manger.
Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, what should we do? The next arrangement is based on God Rest You May Gentlemen, which of course was recorded by the Modern Jazz Quartet as England's Carol. And um, it's a feature written by uh, Andy Panay, very gifted uh, flute and saxophone player, feature for the trombone of Dennis Rollins and the piccolo of Julie Davis. We'd like to dedicate this one to Julie's flute teacher who's with us this evening in the audience. Now, Dolph, I'm just coming, um, just like the um, doctor looking at the funeral passing and saying, just like to see my mistakes passing. Anyway, that's about all that. There's lots of jokes like this. Anyway, um, it's a message. I'm sure I know that story better, but I'm not sure that's the version I want. And I'm going to play for you, Rest You Merry Band.
way round. Flute Piccolo there, Judy Davis, trombone, Dennis Rollins. So much indeed. The next piece we're going to play for you actually brings together the two strands of what we're doing this evening, the idea of jazz, the idea of Christmas. It was arranged by a very gifted writer, Ed Harvey, trombonist and pianist who played with a lot of bands and single-handedly been very much connected with all sorts of jazz things in Britain, right from George Webb's Dixie Landers through the Humphrey Children Band, John Langworth Seven, John Langworth Big Band. But the piece he's arranged for us, I chose him because it seems to me to be a link very much with all that we're doing because it's actually based on a German tune called O Tannenbaum, A Christmas Tree. And the Christmas tree is not something which has been around for a long time. It came, the first one came to Britain in 1841. Prince Albert brought it in. A great many of the Christmas decorations, not many here this evening, but the Christmas decorations you see are Germanic in origin. And they were brought into this country by him. So, um, but the tune, O Christmas Tree, O Tannenbaum, went across the Atlantic and became the state song of Maryland. And it became known as Maryland, My Maryland which in turn was a tune very much favoured by the traditional jazz bands and the Dixieland bands. So we have the two things, Christmas and jazz, linked in this one piece. So what else could it be called but Maryland, my Christmas tree?
show I said no we don't we asked our writers they said yes we'll write things so they did so we're here tonight but when we did it I honestly thought it was something which was perhaps a very obvious thing to have done would you believe that nobody's done it before I couldn't find any trace of any band of having gone round and done this sort of thing but it ought to be done do you agree yeah. yeah well thank you because it seems to me the people who like jazz and like big bands ought not to be left out of Christmas we get choirs we get brass bands and military bands and everything under the sun messiahs but we don't get a chance to hear this sort of music at Christmas and if other bands start to do it well, I should be very pleased indeed. Well of course it doesn't mean that there have never been big band arrangements of Christmas tunes and Christmas carols. Of course they have. Every time you turn the test card on you hear them but they don't tend to sound very like what we've done this evening. But this is what we're going to play for you now by Norman Moy is perhaps a little more reminiscent of that sort of arrangement. Um, it's sort of Nelson Riddle stroke Ray Conniff treatment of Ding Dong Merrily on High.
you appreciate this is a very serious group of Christmas cows, you do appreciate that, don't you? And ding dong merrily on hand, digging her dong merrily there from Barnsley, Ellie Brown. Well, I've got one more song uh, before we uh, come to the towards the end of our show. This is a new song once again, written by Paul Higgs and by um, Derek Pascoe, who wrote the title track for our record, Shades of Blue and Green. And it's called Christmas Without You, and it's a, not a serious song, but it tackles a serious subject, loneliness at Christmas time. I think we've all been lonely, and this is for anyone that has been. Christmas Without You, with Sarah and Gilbertson. And all is still Sounds of distant church bells Spill into the candlelit night Celebrate the day
Miss Sarah Gilbertson, Christmas without you. Thank you. That comes from our broadcast. So let's take back us the next one. This is uh, one which so impressed the BBC producer Ray Harvey, who uh, recorded the broadcast. He asked the arranger, Mark Nightingale, to autograph the score for him. And when you hear the arrangement, you'll know why. It's called an arrangement of a tune by that gifted jazz composer um, Mendelssohn, and it's called Hark the Herald Angels Swing.
Hard held industry. On alto there from Peterborough, Adrian Revel. At the drums once again, you heard from Chris Dagley. Trumpet, Gerard Presenter. And on trombone, the arranger there, Mark Nightingale. Thanks very much indeed. Well, this is a Christmas show, and what would a Christmas show be without audience participation? This is your opportunity to come up on the stage and to play a percussion instrument with Nigel. So if you've got any pretensions at all to being a drummer, or do you like to shake a maraca, or play congas, or bongos, or whatever it might be, let's have you all on the stage. Come on, many people would like to come and play. Peter Doan would like to join us, I'm sure, and a few others. Come on, whoever wants to come and play. Plenty of toys here. Two lovely congas there. Bongos, come on, up you come. A few more, let's have you, up on the stand. We're going to play a nice Latin American arrangement of Jingle Bells. Nobody will be shown up, you'll be at the back. You won't be very exposed. Come on, a few more, a few more, that's right. Not all children, let's have... Ah, oh, that's right. That's the best turnout so far of any of the concerts. There you are. Peter's coming. Ah, there we are. We've got a few people from mid Kent Jazz as well joining in. Give them the toys and they come to the front and play. Come on, come on to the front and play some of you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you Ken Woodman's arrangement of Jingle bells, which he calls to set your bells a jingling.
indeed. You are marvellous percussionists here, and to the members of the National Youth Jazz Orchestra. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. That's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you very much indeed.